Divine Truth Assistance Group. These group assistance sessions are about putting principles of divine truth into action. This discussion is part of the 2014 Australia Group 2 series. Jesus Gives Personal Truth to Sandra and Pia, filmed on the 29th of July 2014 in Monterey, New South Wales, Australia. Okay, guys. The previous discussion is pretty applicable, don't you think? Yeah. So the question you asked me, Sandra, was why is it that you get angry and want to punish Pierre all the time in a relationship, in your relationship? Do you remember that question? Yep. So if you can just hold up the mics and when you're talking to me, that'd be great. What I, uh, can you see that you want to do that? Yes. Right. So, so you know you want to punish a man. You know yes. you want to give him hell, right? So, so you've chosen a man who is willing to accept this. Like, that in itself is quite cruel, you know that, don't yeah. you? To actually choose a guy who's willing to accept being punished and then using or manipulating his weakness as a way of you getting what you want yeah. is, is quite a manipulative thing to do. So, so this is an area, again, to, as we were talking about with Ange, this is an area with will, right? where you don't want to use your will to love. So what do you want to do? You want to harm him, you want to punish him, you want to yell at him and scream at him, you want to get angry and frustrated with him. So, so why do you want those things is the question. What does it give you? Power, power. and superiority. So you want power. Yep. I want power yep. more than anything. Yes, I agree. And, and, so, and particularly power over a man, because this is what you're getting, right? So, so you want power over a man. Why would you want power over a man? What, what's the reason for it? To avoid feeling powerless, I guess. I don't know. Well, see, this is where you've got to be careful, you see. See, again, the guess. Remember, as Because I don't want to know the truth, you, actually. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah. All you're doing is guessing. See, what you're doing is you're using divine truth teachings and, and you're trying to guess now mm. what the reason is. Right? What you would be better off doing is feeling how bad it is that you want power over another person and how much you're willing to engage this angry and belittling behaviour with them in order to gain this power over them. Yeah. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to suggest to you is this. You obviously don't want to love in the relationship. So this is not a loving relationship. Mm -mm. You obviously want power and control over the male. Pierre, by having a relationship with you, has given the opportunity, given you the opportunity to address this very, very deep problem within you. Mm. Right? Can you see that? It's actually it, that a I guy think. wants to have a relationship with you, even though you want power exactly. over him, yeah. is a pretty amazing opportunity for you yeah. to start seeing how unloving you're being. And for, for most people who, in those relationships, they don't think about that as an opportunity. They just think how much he's annoying them and just dump more, right? So you need to start considering the fact that he's in a relationship with you and this gives you the opportunity to address your rage with men because it is rage with men. You don't want to give up your rage with men. And the reality is that most women in, on, in this audience don't want to give up their rage with men. I want to feed it even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you justify it completely, right? It gives you this sense of power, control, makes you it gives you it takes you more away from your real self and your hurt self than you can imagine mm -hmm. but at the moment that's the direction you're going yeah. you have degraded in your condition by yeah. doing this so divine truth hasn't helped you in one iota mm -hmm. in this regard because you've actually caused your own degradation of your own condition by attracting a man and then dumping on him you, you're actually degrading your condition so is this the direction you want to take well, at the moment, that's what I want to keep doing. That's yeah, what yeah. I feel. That's what I've been feeling the past two days. I want this. That's yeah. what I want. Yes. And I don't want to You're change. You're almost desperate to maintain the relationship just to have What's it, right? To do it, to punish, to keep doing Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is a good thing to acknowledge. Yeah. That firstly, you are desperate to maintain the relationship just so that you can do this. Yeah. And that's a very, very harsh thing. But yeah. it's, a, it's a truth that you, mm -hmm. the, of what you feel. So that's good. The second thing you're going to need to do then is to ask yourself, what, do you ever want to love here? Do you really want to love here? Right? 
So, so this is a question yeah. you're going to need to resolve. Now, I suggest to you at this stage, you don't want to, mm -hmm. and the th thing to focus on is Corny's talk. The reasons why you don't want to, what are they? They're going to be one of those three reasons, right? So you won't want to emotionally feel the truth, you don't want to be overwhelmed with emotion, mm -hmm. or you have no faith in God and no faith in yourself and no faith that anything's going to get any better. So it's one of those things, yeah. right? You need to work out what it is and address it. And I don't think I can say much more to you yeah. than that. Does and that I feel sense? like I actually don't want to know. That's the feeling that keeps oh, coming agree. up for me. I agree. Yeah. That's a feeling. So it's good yeah. that you at least can acknowledge that feeling. Yeah. But, but that's not a very helpful state. No. Or you're gonna, you do get overcloaked by spirits very heavily. I can feel it actually yeah. physically and I don't do anything about and it. And those women spirits that overcloak yeah. you are in a rage, yeah. right? And you have brought many of them here, right, to just dump on other men. Mm. And many of the men in the audience have felt suppressed for the last day and a half as a result. Mm. So, wow. you know, and it's not just you, it's also many mm. of the other women who feel exactly the way, same way you do. So it's great that you're being honest about it. But the key is to ask yourself, like, why do you wish to use divine mm. truth terminology in a, in a way to harm another person? Like, there, there's something really quite... It's almost born. This is this is this is the something evil that needs to be eradicated from your soul, and and rather than judging it and saying and and going into oh you're a bad person because I just believe it's evil within you yes. that needs to be released, but unless you do, you're going to you're just going to do this with men all the time, and you're never going to attract your soulmate this way, and in fact in the end you're going to end up an old lady who has no relationship with any man because none of the men can stand you, yeah. right? And that's where you're headed. And, and, and there are many ladies in this audience that are already there. <laughs> so, yep, so you know, this is, where, this is where you're headed if you keep going down the track. So you've got to look at the justification you have for your rage towards men. So the reasons why I choose to do it. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's where you need to start. Yep. The reasons why you choose to do it. What, and they're not reasons, by the way. They're excuses. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between a reason and an excuse. Every, but you need to know them. You need to know the personal excuses you use to get into a rage with somebody. Okay. All right? So that's where, where I'd suggest you go. Yep. Now, you. Pierre, can I speak with you about this? I know you're pretty upset about it. Right? And it is pretty distressing to hear me say to a girl that you feel you love, right, that, um, that she's actually treating you pretty badly. And she is. And she's admitting it, which is also a good thing. But, but my question to you is, why are you staying in it? Why are you staying in it? She's got, there's got to be something with women here, isn't there, for you? Yeah. I feel I deserve it somehow. Yeah, like I agree. I deserve to From a be woman. treated badly. Yeah, yeah, you do. I'm bad and I deserve it. Yeah. Well, you believe women believe you're bad. Yes. Because you don't, you don't get much of this treatment from men, do you? Nowhere near the kind of... Not at all. No, no. no. Mm. But you get it a lot from women. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you've had a series of relationships now. <laughs> where they've been very similar, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So where the women have used you as an opportunity to be their punching bag, basically. Yeah. So, so you can't really, can you see in some ways, you can't really blame them because you're choosing to remain. Does that make sense? Yes. So while we can say that their behaviour towards you is very unloving, and it is, the fact that you're choosing to remain in a relationship that's very unloving without there being any change in the person who's, in terms of the way they treat you is an indication that you're very unloving to yourself. Does that make sense? Yes. So the big learning lesson for you here is why, what justification do you have for being unloving to yourself all the time? There's got to be some addictions here, you see. What, what do you get out of staying in a relationship like this that's unloving to you all the time? And I've seen you have, since I've known you, I've seen you have two of them. So, 
Like, why, why do you do this? Do you sort of justify it by saying, oh, she's my soulmate, so I've got to do it? Or what do you do? I feel I, I'm unloving many times, and, and it's an opportunity to grow and being more loving. I feel I'm unloving to her. Right. Like when I respond, you know, I, I, I'm upset about how she treats me. Yeah, I and can understand completely. I feel I'm unloving and I need to so, not to but, react. Somehow, but see, the, you know? the question I have for you, Pierre, and this is something I feel you're very blocked to, uh, to actually answering for yourself, mm. is why are you staying in a relationship that is quite obviously further destroying your self-worth and self-esteem. There's got to be an internal justification. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a relationship, by the way, here. I'm saying that there is a reason why you're staying in the relationship that's pulling down your self-esteem. You're getting attacked all the time. Now, if it was me, even if, like if, if you, Sandra, were my soulmate, I'd be saying, girl, you get angry with me one more time, you're out my door, and I'm not coming back until you fix this problem. That's what I'd be saying. Our question I'm asking you is, why aren't you saying that? Why don't you feel that? Fear. Of what? But what if the woman if you leave the woman how do you feel how do you feel last time I, I i left my previous relationship and it was very abusive it was i felt released you felt but i went like to a point like i could not handle anymore i felt like i can't do that i'm just dying here and so so i felt released you from, felt released from the relationship. You from leaving, from deciding, you know, it can can continue like that. I felt relieved from released, released, really emotionally. Relieved. Like I'm living, I'm living again. I'm alive again. I right. can breathe again. I can okay. feel myself again. But then you went straight into another one. Yes. So yeah. there's got to be an addiction yes. that pulls you back into the next one to do the same thing. Yes, Do you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. And you were totally clueless about the addiction, right? That's yes. the problem. Yes. You, yes. You're, you're addicted, you have this imperative, you, you feel compelled to go back into, into yes. a similar relationship again, even though you felt relieved once you got out of the last one. And, the, and you're back straight in and you're in the same emotions again. So there's got to be an addiction you have here. So what is it you're wanting from the woman? You know, this is the, there's a feeling here you don't want to feel by being alone. You, you, need, you need to be with the woman so you don't have to feel this feeling when you're alone. So there's a feeling when you have, that you have when you're alone that you get to completely ignore when you're with a woman. And you're willing to be abused to avoid feeling this feeling. Right? And you've got to find what that feeling is. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. But I'm not going to tell you. Do you know why? No. Because I don't feel you have a very strong <laughs> desire <laughs> to find it. Do you see? If you're willing to be abused in a relationship, you get out of the relationship, you feel relieved, and then you enter another relationship where you get abused. You're not having a very strong desire to find the reason why you want this next relationship. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, you're like, you've heard of battered wife syndrome? In Australia, there's a saying, battered wife syndrome. And what that is, is a woman who lives with a man who violently abuses her, right? And she stays with him and stays with him and stays with him until such a point in time that it get, the abuse gets too much for her to handle and she eventually goes and leaves him. And then she finds another man who also is the same violent type of man and then she enters the relationship with him and gets battered and abused and she stays with him until it becomes like plain she has to leave and she does this over and over again. 
And there's a, they call that the battered wife syndrome. Well, you're battered husband syndrome. Does that make sense? Yes. That's what you are. And, and the wife in that... So while, while the person being abusive is being violent and unloving, so I, I can say, and I, and I need to say that to you, Sandra, here, you are being violent and unloving towards somebody, right? And you're doing it on purpose. And I've also got to say to you, why, what addiction is so great in you that causes you to stay? And, and, and to be honest, it doesn't even matter. If your soulmate doesn't matter to me, why would you stay? being abused this much see this is where you're not seeing your will you see so if we look at yesterday's program you're not seeing your will to get back into a relationship that's the same as the one you had before has to be driven by something in your soul that you are completely unwilling to address at this point does that make sense yes yeah so what I would like you to do tomorrow, Mary's, Mary and Corny are going through addictions in relationships and stuff like that. What I'd like you to do tomorrow is give serious consideration to what it is inside of you that causes you, when you're alone and single, to be drawn back into a relationship with women who just want power and control over you. You feel sexually attracted to these women that want power and control over you, right? You feel sexually drawn to them. You, you ignore the other ones. <laughs> you go for the one every time that wants power and control over you. That's an issue for you. Find, you need to find the addiction inside of yourself as to why you choose to do that. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's very unloving behavior towards yourself, but you do it for a reason. And the reason is to avoid an, a very, very big emotion. So it's got to be a big emotion, otherwise you wouldn't put up with this much abuse, right? So it's got to be a large emotion that you're unwilling to feel. Does that make sense? And that you're even unwilling to even think about at this point, because you don't even know what it is. I've been running away a few times the yeah. last two years. And yeah, I agree. I spend a lot of time away. Yes, mm. and I understand why. And but when you're away, what do you feel? Why do you feel you have to go back? Well, generally, it has been like through an emotional release, I felt an attraction again. Like yeah. I wouldn't be calling it an emotional release, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, you're not facing a big addiction you're not facing a big addiction and you have a compulsion to go back to a woman who treats you badly and you've got to find out what this compulsion is what what's driving this compulsion yeah yeah even though he has that compulsion that doesn't alleviate you know the fact that you're still treating him unlovingly on purpose and you know what I see a lot of people doing is they enter relationships where they know they're being unloving to the other person and they still enter the relationship because they like it. They like to be unloving to the other person and that's quite an evil act, Sandra. And you need to see it as such and start having a good look at what emotions drive it because there's some very, very dark emotions that drive that behaviour. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll, no, I think I'll leave it there because I think you need to do more thinking, Joseph, uh, Pierre. So, so thanks for joining me just up here. But Thank can you. you see again the use of the will to truly see the emotional truth is what's being avoided here for both of you, right? And you're purposefully using your wills to avoid the truth at this point. Right? Even though both of you think that you're following divine truth, you're not. You're purposefully using your will to avoid the truth through your behaviours and actions. And my suggestion to you is to find the reason why. Does that make sense?
to even want to find the reason why. Well, for me yeah, if moment. you don't want to find the reason yeah. why, I'm going, I'll yeah. suggest to both of you, if you don't want to find the reason why, you're going to have more of this pain. Every time you dump on him, you are degrading your soul condition further. Sooner or later, your soul condition is going to be so dark, you won't even recognise yourself if you keep going down this track. And from Pierre's perspective, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're just going to have mountains of hurt to deal with with women. Mountains of it, because you will attract another woman and another woman and another woman who are all willing to do the same thing to you. And in the end, you'll have a long backlog of hurt, all created because you chose to ignore a very big personal emotion. You desired to ignore that emotion by being in a relationship with a powerful woman. And by the way, this is not a powerful woman. Uh, this is a woman who's getting manipulated greatly by some very nasty spirits. And while she continues to have this rage in her, man, you're just going to get hammered. Yep. And while you continue to want to be oblivious to what the rage is all about, you know, it's not going to be pleasant for you. And this is where I see a lot of people hearing divine truth, but degrading their conditions through the manipulation of it. Again, you get fed like Angela, you get fed a lot of reasonable thoughts, which you think are reasonable, and then you act them out, but they're very, very unloving. They're not coming from anyone who has your best interests in, heart, in, in their heart at all. They, there's a whole, you're surrounded by a group of women who just want domination over men because of their pain. And the reality is you haven't had a huge amount of pain in comparison to these women who are with you. But I'm channeling their rage. You're channeling myself. their rage towards men and you're willing to do it. And there's a number of reasons why. One is that you're afraid of these women, but, but in the end of the day, at some point, you're going to have to stand up to truth. Otherwise, your own condition is going to end up to be like them. And it's not going to be pleasant when you hit the spirit world because I tell you, they're not in nice place. When I say not in a nice place, it's going to be many, many years before they get out of where they are while they maintain their current state. You, know? you don't want to arrive in the spirit world in this state, Sandra, because to be honest with you, you're not going to get any help whatsoever. You're going to be surrounded by these women only. You don't want to arrive in the spirit world in this state, this rageful state that you're in, because if you do, you're going to be swamped by it for potentially hundreds of years. Doesn't matter how much divine truth you've heard, it won't make one ounce of difference. Because their emotion is, we want you to be in a rage and you want to be in one. Yeah. Okay, so that, I think I've answered your question fairly, fairly comprehensively. But I also wanted to address you, Pierre, because I feel that you are ignoring a very big addiction that causes you to continually attract these kind of relationships. Thanks, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.